back to Shirley DIY Designs channel. Today we're going to be making over these nice things. I have two. I bought them from Walmart some years back. And this, this is exactly how they, they came out separated apart. I had to put them together. And they didn't have a knob on it. So I don't, my husband put that hole there. You see? Right there in the middle so that I can put a knob on them. I have two. I'm going to make them over. As you can see, they don't have legs. I'm going to add legs. I'm going to add mirror to the top. I'm going to add mirror contact paper on the drawer and mirror contact paper on the bottom part. And we're going to glam these up. Mm, these, they're going to be beautiful when we get to work. Here's the items you will need to do this project. You will need a mirror. I have a mirror here. Well, you need two if you're doing two, two mirrors. You need these legs. I got them from Amazon. They're beautiful. And I have four of them. And actually, I have eight. Um, four for each stand, nightstand. You need a knob. I got that knob from Lowe's or Home Depot. Home Depot. Some years back. You're going to need some E6000. But also Amazon selling knobs because I bought some for my daughter for her dress and change them out when I redid her room. And they are much cheaper on Amazon. You can get a whole lot of them. And you need some contact mirror paper. Because we're not going to be doing all mirrors. We're going to make it look like it's all mirror. Because the bottom last shelf is going to be done with contact paper. So, these are the items you need. You need. You need also a Zacto knife or a pair of scissors. Well, we're gonna get started. So here we go. I'm beginning to disassemble the shelf, and what you see me doing here is taking out all four screws. To and then I'm gonna measure my contact paper, my mirror contact paper. And I'm cutting it out right here so that I can place it on my shelf. And also when you me measuring to cut out your contact paper, give your measure it a little bit bigger than your shelf or your table so that it gives you a more um, about a half inch playing room left over or a little more so that you have more um room for error and therefore when you get ready to cut it um, apply it you can uh, adjust more easier and then once you get it on you can just trim it down with your Zacto knife so that's a credit card or it's an old credit card I'm using to help me uh, apply it the mirror contact paper on the shelf and what it's going to do is help remove the bubbles as you go. So that when you have finished applying the contact mirror paper, there won't be any bubbles. So your contact paper will be smooth. Now what I'm about to do is take the exacto knife and 
remove the like one inch uh, extra from the side. So I'm just moving it down with the credit card to make a real good guideline of where I need to cut off the excess like half inch overage off the shelf. And when you're using your Zecto knife to cut this part off, um, make sure your Zecto knife is laying up against your shelf really close. I mean like dead close touching it and that will help you remove it where it's like remove it right at that line that I'm making with the old credit card and it's, therefore you won't have any hanging over any excess and it'll be completely flush with the shelf so just see what I'm doing with the credit card here that's making a line you can see it bending in, in the mirror paper so when I put my Zecto knife in it's gonna actually give me a guide and that's a Zecto, Zecto knife and see how I'm placing the Zecto knife inside the long but lay against I mean completely against your shelf board and it slides right off really smooth and if you keep your Zacto knife close to the shelf you won't have to go back and do a little clean cleanup there are going to be little moments where you'll see me going back doing cleanup that is because I forgot as I was doing it and I didn't have my Zacto knife completely clean touching the shelf so which it leaves a little bit of free edge see that free edge right there i'm going back and removing it but if you make sure your zycto knife is laying out completely against the shelf it will, will come out clean very clean but make sure your zycto knife is really really sharp like what a like a fresh blade i have just bought that from walmart and so it gives you a really good clean cut Now take your Zacto knife and make four like holes through the contact table where the screws go back on your shelf. If you if your shelf has holes to attach any legs or anything to it. So you have to make sure that where the screws go, that that area, that hole where the screws go, the screw go inside is very clean. So what I'm doing now is taking the Zycto knife and I'm going in and I'm removing the con mirror contact paper out so that it won't be an issue when I'm putting the screws back in and attaching the shelf back to the, um, the end table. Therefore, if um, you leave some of the mirror contact
some type of paper in the area where, area where this food go at. It will catch onto your um, mirror contact paper and it'll make it bubble and pop up. So make sure you just clean out anytime you go uh, add a mirror contact paper and you got to put clothes in. Make sure you clean out that, that whole area where it out really, really good so that it has nothing to kick down. So right here I took the screw and stick it inside to make sure there's no contact paper left. Uh, and there was a little piece and I'm cutting it off so that it won't interfere when I'm putting the screw in. Putting the shelf back together. So just, just a good idea to go ahead and cut in like two cuts in and then you go back in and make sure it cut all the way through. And then trim, trim those little edges, those little edges out so that it's clean. Now here we're about to place the contact paper on the drawer. So I'm cleaning off the drawer and now I'm getting ready to apply the contact paper on the drawer. Um, I'm not disassembling this drawer. Nope, I'm not. I can put the contact paper on there without disassembling. Save myself some work and time, guys. Um, putting this contact paper on the um, drawer is same step you do when you put in the contact paper on the shelves it's the same pro process so it just got to find your angles and how to get it in get it started and put it on and yes guys i am filming this video in my bedroom as you can see my bed and a lot of stuff is sitting on it because a lot of stuff come off my uh, nightstands. Uh, and I, um, my headboard, I made it. And I my, also my bed have footboards going all the way around. I made those. And I don't have that footage because at the time, I didn't have my DIY channel. I hadn't started. This is what made me decide to just start my DIY channel. It's because I was doing all these nice things, and I'm like, I can help somebody. I'm just doing this and doing this. Why not do a channel? Because I made over my daughter a whole bedroom and didn't have a channel. And um, her bedroom is beautiful. I painted over her dresses, changed out her knobs, made her a headboard, did her paintings, 
in her room and did a mirror, did her, um, she's got one of these huge, big old vanity mirrors with lights going around. I made it for her bedroom, um, to go to her, her vanity table area. It's beautiful. So, um, and it lights up and she can change the colors and the lights. So this is what made me decide to do this channel to inspire other people. And I had did a lot of projects in my house. I made chandeliers that hanging in my ceiling. So every time you see a chandelier hanging up in my house on like one of my videos or something, I made those. Um, matter of fact, I made one for my daughter room, one in my bedroom. I have. You saw the one that I did that's hanging into my little seating room in my bedroom. And I made one for my den, and I made one for my um, living room. So, yeah, um, this is what inspired me to those doing all this work. I was like, wait a minute. I can help somebody learn something. And guys, I finished college. Yes, finished the last three class, graduate. Can't march because of coronavirus. And everybody, please stay safe. Wash your hand, wear your mask. Please just be careful out there. And so we can't march. We're going to have a virtual ceremony. I, I did all this hard work. My whole bachelor, two years of bachelor class. I got straight A's, and then here it is. I can't even march. Wow. You never know what's up the road, but I'm just grateful and thankful that I finished my bachelor and business organization and leadership degree, and and I'm excited about something else especially happening. My book is being finished, so my book... Um, She'll be going on in June or July uh, with Amazon, so, and it's being illustrated. It's almost finished. I've seen the storyboard. He still got some more work to do on it, the illustrator, but it's beautiful. I'm loving it. And then here I have another book that he has. He's going to start on it after he's finished out this one. It's a, it's a children book. Both of these are children books. And I have started writing an adult book. So I'm an aspiring author right now. Being in college, four years of college, I learned that I was, had a gift in writing. And you never know where you're going to find your gift set. You really never know. So I'm so thankful and, and grateful and blessed that because of college, it stirred up something in me and I learned that I was a writer. And my professor was like, oh, my goodness, you write so beautiful. You write anything you write, your papers, it draws people in. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to write some books. And see what inspired me to write children's books is because I have an early childhood education. And I have a director's in early childhood education. And I have, uh, I'm certified in VPK. And so that's what inspired me to write for children. And I love love teaching. But then I came down with arthritis in my knees and I couldn't get down on the floor and get back up. So I had to actually come out of teaching in the early childhood education because I wasn't able to be 100% full mobile with the kids, with the children. So I had to come out. And therefore, that's what inspired me to go back to college and get my bachelor's degree in business because I couldn't do the things that I used to do. And I'm a licensed cosmetology. That's the first thing I've done uh, when I finished high school. I got my cosmetology. And then, say, um, about 17 years ago, I went, 17 or 18 years ago, I went, Back to school for early childhood education, and then I got a director's in it, and I was um, director and teacher at the same time. And so, cause of the arthritis, and can't get up and can't get down, 
and can't stand a long time, I decided to go ahead and, and go back to school for a business organization. And that's what inspired me to go back to school and get my degree and my bachelor's degree. And, and I'm so grateful and thankful that I did it. So I right here I finished the um the drawer and I am applying the knob. Those knobs could be gotten you can pick them up at Home Depot, but they cost more. And then getting a lot of them from Amazon is actually cheaper. So you might want to go ahead and check out Amazon. That's where I get my legs from too for my um drawers is from Amazon. I shop mostly at Amazon for my products. So uh, here you're going to see me put back together, assemble the um, shelf, bottom shelf back to the um, end table. And then I'm going to put the um, drawer inside and I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the legs on. Because it's going to be much easier to go ahead and assemble it back together and add the legs. And then put the mirror on top last. But I'm praying for everybody to stay safe out there. And just, I have to just remember washing your hands, covering your, keeping your mouth and your nose covered. And just to say safe because we really don't know 100% of what this virus can do because they're still learning things that it does so stay safe Here I'm showing you these um, little things that I'm pulling out of the um, bottom of the shelf. Those was a little furniture scuff mark things to keep um, the furniture from scuffing the floor. To be able to install the legs on the shelf, you have to remove those so it can lay flush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill my holes before I attach the legs. So I'm placing the legs up and I take the drill and mark where each hole goes. And then for I'm gonna see right here I'm taking the drill and I'm drilling the holes. I'm just marking it each way with the with the drill bead. It's better to drill your holes before you put the screws in because it goes in a much easier. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm drilling holes and I'm marking it. I'm marking it where each hole go. And then I'm going to take the leg down and then go ahead and finish drilling in the holes. And then I'm going to attach all four legs. To make this video really short, I'm not going to show you each one that I did because it's four to save and cut down on the time but you know once you do one you see one done do the other three the same so 
stay tuned and watch. Now here we I'm about to use the liquid nail. This is a caulking gun. If you know don't know how to use a caulking gun, they have um videos on YouTube and I'm gonna use them E6000. So I'm gonna spray this um liquid nail on top of the shell on the end table and I'm gonna add some E6000, just a little bit of that. And um I'm going to spread it out with the credit card so that it won't be oozing over on the side. And then that's when I'm going to place my mirror on. So you can get liquid nail from Walmart, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, Cock and Gun. Those Cock and Gun, they're like $2. And the liquid nail is like maybe $3 if that to something. It's not expensive, but it seals down wood seals down really good wood and mirror so that's what I decided to use to seal my mirrors down and working real well so just watch and see how I put this mirror on as you can see in the background there is a alphabet border letters of the alphabet water and a book shelf with books on it that is the background to my book that is coming out in june for children and also i have an online uh, reading that i do for children so i read stories and because i'm i am an early childhood education teacher teacher and i'm an author of writing children books my first book is being published and being illustrated is coming out in June. And that's what that book, that um, board is, you see behind me. And it is in my room. The reason why it is in my room is because it's the only quiet place in my house um, to record. And so that's why I tell that space. My husband doesn't mind, as you can see. I have rose glow beatings on my bed. He doesn't mind at all. If I like it, he loves it. And I'm just blessed to have a husband who don't care about me working in my bedroom. But um, hopefully when we build our house, I have my own studio where I can record. And I'm writing my books and reading on my online story to the children so just be mindful of that if you see little things about our children in the background that is what it for because that is part of my career and i just want to thank you for that for understanding
I've got my mirror on. So I'm putting these heavy books and heavy items on top of it so it can press down on the mirror so it can go ahead and seal and dry. But I'm going to keep on moving because those, I'm going to still put those things up there. As you can see, they what it does is help the mirror seal, hold the mirror down. So now I have some mirror tiles. I got these, these are literally real, real mirrors. They are little tiles. And they can separate the individual little pieces. But uh, I'm going to decorate my uh, end table by placing those around the top of the shelf part. And then I'm going to put two rows down the middle of each uh, leg, legs, a level part that is going to the bottom shelf. And then I'm going to put like two rows at the very bottom of the bottom shelf. Just to give it a little bit more bling. And you can get these at Amazon also. And they're already pre-sticked. You can I I tried to add a little E6000, but it was just interfering with it. So I didn't use the E6000. I just went ahead and let it, it seal really well with the with the own. So I'm showing you right here. Because it's pre-sticked. So I put it across the top, the the um five rows, and I put two rows down the middle of each pole, and then at the very bottom, close up, I put two rows across there, cause I wanted a little bit more bling out, and it looks beautiful, as you can see. Beautiful, I love it. Thank you guys for watching my video, and remember to subscribe. And hit the notification bell to know when I'm uploading more videos. Since I finished school, I will be doing more now. I'm not so busy with school. I'm done. So, enjoy. Thank you. Bye.